Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new here. I am so excited to be back and filming for you guys. I know I took a long break, but I was in the process of moving and a lot of things were in storage. I was in a temporary apartment, so it was just very chaotic, but I am happy to be back. I've missed it so much. And we're starting off with a clothing collaboration with Simple Retro. They sent me and they kindly gifted me a few or a lot of their pieces to style for you guys and share. And Simple Retro I love because they are a New York City based company that is inspired by vintage pieces and silhouettes. And you guys all know that I'm obsessed with vintage shopping. My entire closet, I would love for, be, for it to be like vintage clothing. That would be a dream of mine. So having a brand that solely looks at vintage pieces as their inspiration is just me in a nutshell. So I have a bunch of pieces from them that I'm gonna share with you guys today and then also share how I personally style them with my wardrobe. So I'm starting off first with these pair of jeans and I really like the light wash color of these. It's a really nice color and I like that they have no rips. I don't have a lot of pair pairs of jeans that don't have rips in them. A lot of my jeans, like my still here ones and my goldie ones that fit like this all have some type of rip to them. So I like that these are just like your standard, everyday, nice pair of jeans. And I really like this light wash color. I don't really have a color like this in my wardrobe. And I also like how they're baggy on the thigh. They are like a wide leg jean, but they're not like dramatic because I personally don't like the really dramatic shape of a wide leg. So I like this is very subtle. And I just paired it with this Montembeau white t-shirt. It's more of a cream. I think this is vintage white. And I just really like the simplicity of this outfit. And then I'm gonna accessorize it with this vintage belt that I actually got at a flea market in LA. I miss the flea markets in LA. If you're ever in LA, do yourself a favor and look up flea markets to go to because you will not be sorry. They're just so good. So I'm gonna put this belt on and I just like the dark brown color because it has a brown stitching on these jeans. And then for shoes, I paired it with my loafers that I actually also found at the flea market in LA and I just love the color. And then I'm also gonna pair it with this simple retro khaki blazer. And I like the shape of this. I have like oversized blazers. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you can see. Most of my blazers are like very oversized and I like that this is more structured and fitted. And I just really like the shape of it. I like how it comes down in a V and it's just really flattering on. I also just love the color with the brown buttons. It's very simple and I can definitely tell that this was inspired by a vintage blazer. It just really looks really cool. And different from like blazers that you, bla blazers, yeah. Sorry, I don't know why that word sounds so weird when I say it, that you find. So here is it on. And I just really like the shape of it. It fits really well. And I'll leave all the names and the links to each one of these pieces down below for you guys because I kind of forget what sizes I got in these. But I know these are 25. I feel like this is a small or medium. I know I like to size up in blazers, so, but I just love the shape of this and I love this outfit. I think this is a perfect everyday outfit to go to lunch, to go to a casual work event, to hang out with friends, but you can definitely also dress this up, which I really like. And it's just a really good fall outfit and I love it with the loafers. I'm obsessed with wearing loafers at the minute. So I love this outfit paired with these tan loafers. And those are the first two pieces that I got from Simple Retro. Moving on, the next piece I am going to style is this corduroy 
midi skirt and this is definitely a little bit outside of my comfort zone I'm really trying to get into skirts and I saw this on the website and I think it would be really cool to style this my kind of way so I picked this out and I'm going to show you how I use this to fit more of my style so this is the corduroy skirt on. It is super comfortable, which I love because sometimes skirts can be uncomfortable, I think. I love this for fall and going into winter. During the spring and summer, I really wanted a denim skirt just like this, but denim. And I like that I waited, and th I think this is a little different than what people are wearing. I definitely still love the like dark denim skirt, mini skirt like this. And I definitely want to get one for the fall. I mean, fall's pretty much, sadly, almost over. I feel like I missed the like the fall moment to post like really good fall outfits. But hey, I'm doing what I can, and I still think a denim skirt will be really cool or really good for the winter as well, especially in the beginning months. But I really like the shape of the skirt. I like the color. I think it's a gorgeous like tan khaki color and I really like the button to it and the shape it's just really nice and then I just paired it with this cream sweater that actually I got in Florida at a vintage store called Nearly New Vintage Florida surprisingly has really great vintage shopping I know I've posted a video or two about my Florida vintage finds and I actually have another video coming and this might be in it. I don't know if I'm going to be posting that before or after this video but it's just a really lightweight knit cream sweater and I like that it's kind of like short sleeve. I think it's a really great sweater and fit and I thought it looked perfectly with this skirt and then to add something a little bit unique i am going to be pairing this belt and this is actually also a vintage belt and i love the buckle to this i'm just obsessed with this i think this belt literally makes any outfit more cool i don't know why i'm just so in love with it and i think it's a really nice touch to this outfit Oh my god, there's two huge wasps at my window. Okay, let's ignore that. So this is it with the belt, and I think it just adds a really nice detail and kind of makes the outfit come together. And then for shoes, I'm just going to be pairing these brown mules to them. I wish I had, like, knee-high dark brown boots. I think that would look so good with this outfit. But I don't, so I'm going to be using these brown mules, which I still love with this outfit. I just think boots would look better. That is definitely on my radar to get a really cool dark brown, a really cool pair of dark brown high, like me, high boots. I just, every outfit that I've been creating or wearing, I'm like, I wish I had a pair of dark brown me, high boots. So if you know of any, please link them below. But I'm just going to put on these. Because I just want to keep the whole like brown and cream color scheme. And then if it is a little bit cooler, this is definitely a really good like early fall. Or those fall days that are just like weirdly really warm. But if, but if it is a little bit cooler out or if it's a nighttime look, I have this coat that I actually got. A lot of these pieces are vintage. I'm just looking at that now. But... Or realizing that now but I got this at a what are they called oh my god I just had one for my house estate sales I found this at an estate sale so definitely look those up in your area because you can find really cool pieces but I just think this was a really nice touch so if you just have like a little cropped blazer or jacket like this I think it looked and paired really nicely to finish off this outfit, especially if it's a little bit cooler out. But this is my second look, and 
the second or the third piece that I got from Simple Retro. I think this is, would be like a really good like Thanksgiving outfit or any like holiday parties that you might have to attend or even just like dinner or like a date night dinner look. It's definitely, or even work. This is a really good work outfit. So yeah, I really like this one. So the next piece that I am going to be styling from Simple Retro are these trousers. And at first I have no idea that they have a little slit at the bottom. I couldn't tell that they had that on the website, but I really like that detail. I think that detail is like really popular right now, especially in jeans. So it looks really cool with like some boots or even some loafers just to have some, a little bit uniqueness at the bottom. But I really like this color and I'm gonna show you guys how I style them. So these are the trousers on and they definitely fit more slim fitted. I don't have a pair of trousers that are more slim fit. I usually go for like the straight leg or a more baggy style. So I like that these are definitely more form fitted and look a little bit more professional. This is definitely the perfect work attire or nice evening event or holiday party literally anything but this is definitely a good office look that you still want to be a little bit fashionable and cute but put together so i paired this with this navy blue which i love this because i'm usually not one to go for the color so this is a perfect happy medium for me just a really nice shade of a navy blue and i love these colors together i think they pair really nicely and then these trousers actually don't have a belt loop to them, but I'm going to make one, especially because I'm leaving this untucked. It doesn't need to show that I made my own belt loop or I'm putting a belt on, but there's actually no belt loop to do that. This is like a good hack if you, or I don't even know if it's hack, I kind of just made it up right now, but if you don't have a belt loop to like a pair of pants that you want to wear a belt to just keep it a little bit untucked and you really can't even tell it looks like there's a belt loop to these pants so i paired it with these this belt and this is the same belt that i wore in the first outfit so this is from a vintage a flea market in la and then for shoes i want to dress this up to be really work attire or work wear so I am pairing it with these vintage mules or loafer, loafer heels. I don't even know what you call these, but I got these at an estate sale as well. And I am obsessed with them. I think they're so different and unique. I love the gold hardware and this kind of like dark brown maroon color. I feel like it matches really well with the belt. And I like that they both have like this vintage gold hardware to them. So I'm going to put these on and I think this will also look really nicely with the slit at the bottom of the pants. So this is with the shoes on and I just think it's a really nice touch. It definitely dressed up the outfit a little bit and this is the next outfit and the next piece from Simple Retro. Okay, the next piece that I'm going to style from Simple Retro is definitely a more standard basic, which I feel like you can never get enough of these. But what I really like about this piece, if you can see in the camera, it has a little rouging detail. It might be a little blurry. It has a little rouging detail right here. And I just think that's a really nice touch. Also, I love... You'll see it better on because it's like black, but I love the neckline shape to it and I love the thicker straps. I just think it looks really elegant and chic rather than just like a basic tank top. So I'm gonna throw this on and show you how I style it. So here is the tank top on and now you can definitely see better the neckline and I just think that's so flattering. I love the little slight V right here 
And then the ruching, I still don't know if you can tell, but the little ruching detail right there is just so dainty and cute. And then for this outfit, I am pairing it with this tan kind of canvas like. That's what the texture feels like. A skirt that I thrifted this in Florida as well. But this was actually like 10 times my size. And then I just went to a uh, seamstress and I had her fit it to my body and then keep the belt loops and make sure she matches them all the way around because this was the skirt I have been looking for for so long. I've been looking for a skirt like this. I am obsessed with it. Get used to it because you are going to be seeing it a lot. I just think it is the perfect skirt for fall and winter so definitely when you're out thrifting don't be afraid to buy something that's way too big and then go get it taken in because if you find something you love the color you love the shape it is so easy to get it formed into the right size for your body and i am so happy i didn't let it being too big like pull me away from it and i think it looks so good with this tank here it's very a more casual outfit this is definitely a more everyday outfit but i'm going to show you how you can dress it up dressing it down i would just wear this especially in the summer but you can definitely wear this in the spring and summer as well i would just pair like black flip-flops with it and i think that would be so cute with like a thin black belt but since we're going into fall and winter i'm going to show you how i dress it up for more of a weather appropriate. So I'm gonna actually pair it with this, this belt again, this vintage belt. I know this is dark brown, but I don't have a thin black belt. If you do have a thin black belt, that's what I would suggest, but I'm just gonna do this for the look and the inspo part, but definitely I would do like a black one because I'm gonna be pairing it with some black shoes and a black blazer okay so I just love this simple accessory just added so much to this look kind of changed the more casual to a more like dressed up version just by adding a simple belt. And then for shoes, I'm really excited. I'm gonna be pairing these black flats that I got from The Real Real, and they're from Rag & Bone. I'm obsessed with the whole ballet flat trend. So I'm definitely on that right now, and I just wanna wear these flats with every single outfit. So I love the midi or the long skirt with the flats. I think it just looks really chic and elegant and really cute. And then for a more like nighttime, if it's a little bit cooler, I'm just going to be pairing this black blazer that is a vintage blazer. And you can just honestly do it just like over the shoulder. And this would be my look. I think this is a great like event outfit like if you're going to I don't know why I immediately think like an art gallery but that's what this outfit is giving me like a really cute art gallery event but even like drinks with your friends drink with drinks with co-workers you can wear this to work especially with like the blazers to cover your shoulders if you have a certain dress code because I'm working with a very simple basic shirt I mean you can really dress up this outfit and dress it down very easily, especially like all seasons too. I mean, staples like this, you can wear all year round, obviously, but I just really like this final look and this is definitely something I will be wearing very soon because I'm just so obsessed with it. I just need to find a thin black belt. I don't mind the brown because I feel like since I'm wearing so many tones of black, it kind of looks more black than brown or kind of gives off a more darker color. Sorry if you heard the train in the background. I'm just getting used to the new sounds in my backyard and there's a train really close. So 
sorry about that but yeah i really love this outfit and i love this tank top i love that it's simple but has some like certain things like the brugine and the neckline that makes it a little bit more unique and different so this is the next look Okay, the next piece that I am going to style from Simple Retro is kind of like a standard in my closet. You guys won't be surprised, but it's an oversized button down. You guys know that I live in my breezy shirts, but I've been wanting them to do like a chocolate brown color for so long. I just think that's such a pretty color for a button down. So when I saw this one on the website, I'm like, okay, I have to have it. And I like that this is definitely a more lighter fabric to the breezy shirt. The breezy shirt's definitely a stiffer fabric. So this would be good to like, you could build and layer as well. And it still would lay really nicely. And it's good for all seasons. Like I can definitely see this as like a cover up over your bathing suit or just a really nice breezy, like lightweight blouse in the summertime, but also you can dress it up for the fall and maybe the winter. It might be a little lightweight for the winter, but maybe even like putting like a long sleeve or a light knit sweater over top or underneath could definitely wear this in the winter as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I style it. So here is the button down on, and I really love the fit of this. I did order it in a size or two up. I think I ordered it in a medium, but it will be down below just to make sure. But I just really like how casual and oversized this is. I love the lightweight of the material. It just feels very cozy and comfortable and not something that I'm going to be like hot in. This would be just perfect definitely for the spring and summer and then perfect for those like weird temperature days in the fall. But I paired it with these Durf Avenue silk pants. And I've recreated an outfit like this before with my other button downs and I just really like how chill the vibe is with this outfit and this is just a perfect casual everyday look and what I like about this is that you look put together but you feel like you're in your pajamas I am just so comfortable and this will be a very easy outfit to go throughout my day in but you look very put together and then I am going to dress it up a little bit because I'm going to be pairing it with these brown mules um, that I've worn in other outfits that I've shown. But I would more likely if I had like brown loafers or brown flats or like, like brown ballet flats, that's what I would like the best with this outfit, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to be wearing these because I like that the browns match. And I don't really have like other shoes besides like flip flops that I would pair with this, but that's definitely more spring summer. But if you are going into, if you're still in like hot weather, definitely a pair of flip flops with this outfit would look really cute. But I still like the mules. It definitely dressed it up for like a really nice like lunch or I don't know, fun casual event that you want to look a little bit dressed up, but not like you're trying too hard. This is a really cute outfit for that. But yeah, this is my next look. I'm obsessed with this chocolate brown button down. I've been wanting one of these for so long. So super happy when Simple Retro had one. The next thing I'm gonna style, I'm actually really excited about, and it's definitely the two pieces that caught my eye first. And it is these black trousers and this black vest. And these are huge right now, just like vest matching vest set. And I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I style it. This is the set on and I am obsessed with it. Can we just take a minute? I feel like this is the perfect like vest set I have seen. I love how it fits. I do think I could have bought a size down in the vest because it is a little bit big, but I almost also like how it's a little bit oversized and not totally form fitted. So I don't know, I feel like I could have done either or. I could have done this size or size down. If you like it, I got a small. My true size is usually an extra small. 
So if you like it a little bit bigger, definitely maybe size up, but if you like it more form-fitted, take your true size. But I just love the fit of these trousers. These trousers are so comfortable. I like that they are very true, like straight leg. They do hug your thighs a little bit, but then they like flare out a little bit nicely on your calf, but they're not like hugging, if that makes sense. They fit really nicely. I love the shape of them. I think they're very flattering on. You can see them a little bit up close. I just really like them a lot. And they're so comfortable. The material is amazing. They had this also in a chocolate brown and I love that color too. I just think I wear black more than a brown, but they also have a matching blazer so you can really do like the full look. I'm going to use another blazer I have in my closet, but I like that they have like a three-piece set option. But I just love these trousers and this vest. I just think it's such a good outfit just within itself, like this together, I'm in love with. But moving into the more winter months, I am going to throw on a blazer, but first I'm just going to wear my go-to boots. And these are by Jack Irwin. They are the best boots. I love them. Well, I wouldn't say they're the best boots. I feel like I haven't tried that many boots out there, but I wore these religiously all last year and even in the spring and summer. I think I wore these pretty much every single day. I just love them. I live in them. I want another pair because as you can tell, they have seen better days but they still work really great so I'm gonna put these on and I forget the name I think these are called the Robbie boots because they have a couple but I think these are called the Robbie they also have a really cute pair of heels like kitten heels called the Allison and I'm really obsessed with those as well but I just love the whole slick chic black outfit I think it looks really good and then throw on a blazer. I don't know why that word coming out of my mouth just sounds really off. And this outfit is just everything. I mean, going to a nice dinner, going to work, meeting friends every day. I would wear this to anywhere. I just think it's a really good outfit to an event, to a meeting you might have, to an interview you might be going to. It's very professional, very elegant, chic. Looks like you're trying, but not, no. Doesn't look like you're trying. What's that phrase? You know what I'm talking about. Just, it's effortless, I think. It's just a simple outfit, but it looks so good together. This is probably one of my favorites. I love this. I'm so obsessed with this set. I'm gonna be wearing it all the time. And I just love these boots. This is just a really me outfit here, and I'm in love. So this is my second to last look, and then finally, the last piece I'm going to be styling for Simple Retro is this sweater vest. And sweater vest, I, I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with them because I want to love them, and I do love them, but then they're really hard for me to style. So when I saw this on the website, I was like, okay, I have to get it because I really want to style them. I really want to get good in styling because I see so many people wearing them and I'm like, I love that. But then when I have one or when I get one, I'm like, okay, how do I style this? So I picked this one up and I like that it's a V. I have a crew neck sweater vest that I really like that I got from the Naked Claire Rose collaboration. And I got this oversized because for some reason this one seemed more relaxed fit than the other one I have. So I wanted this a little bit bigger and I really like the outfit that I put together for it. So I'm going to show you guys how I fit this into my wardrobe. Okay, this is the last piece from Simple Retro on and this is the sweater vest. And I really like that I went with an oversized fit. I just feel more relaxed and more comfortable which is definitely more my style and vibe. I still love the one from Naked. I just think that one I'll dress up more and this one's definitely good for like a more relaxed, casual, everyday look. 
And I love the v-neck. I love the cable knit detail on the sweater. And to style this, I first paired it with my still here jeans. I wanted the jeans to definitely be a more relaxed, casual look. So I really like these. They're more baggy and I like that they have a rip. It definitely instantly makes it more casual. And then I'm gonna pair it with this belt again. As you can tell, this is like my favorite belt at the moment. And I just love it. I love the chocolate brown. So I'm gonna put this on. Okay, and so here is the belt with it. And then for shoes, I'm gonna go back with my black boots that I put on for the last outfit. I would, again, like to have chocolate brown boots because I feel like that would just be the perfect pair of shoes for this look, but I don't have them, so these are gonna have to do. And I still like these, like I would still wear this out. I just think to make a perfect outfit, I think the chocolate brown boots would be like so much better, but you know, whatever. So here are the brown, or the black, wish they were brown, black boots with the outfit. And then finally, I'm gonna be putting on this vintage coat that I just got and I am so obsessed with. I went to this, we were actually looking for vintage furniture and there was like this huge, I don't know, I don't even know what you would call it, but basically they rented out a big like field and there were so many tents with the vendors that had different furniture and there was some vintage shopping there, vintage clothing. So of course I had to steer away from what I was actually there for and look at the vintage, vintage clothing and I found this coat and I just love how thick and thick it is, the material and the structure of the coat. I'm so in love with it and I feel like this is going to be like my favorite fall coat or it has been. I've been wearing this a lot recently or since I got it and I just think it's the perfect coat to pair with this vest. I love the chocolate brown kind of color story with the cream. These are like definitely my colors and this is just very fall to me. This screams like a fall day, like going, I don't know, not pumpkin picking because I feel like you don't want to get this dirty, but like going apple picking or just going to like a fall house party or like a fall dinner or just a fall day, casual errands, things like that, casual day, weekend, every day, I don't know. I just think this screams like the fall outfit and I'm just obsessed with this look. So this is my final look and my final piece to style from Simple Retro. And I just wanna thank them again for gifting me all these amazing pieces. I am just so obsessed that they are inspired by vintage silhouettes and vintage clothing. Because as you can tell, I love vintage clothing. Most of the pieces I styled their pieces with were vintage pieces. So I feel like I just said pieces so many times. But I hope you guys like this type of video. I definitely wanted to try out talking more with my outfits and styling and showing you guys what I like to wear with them than just putting music over. So let me know if you like this type of video or this way I did it instead of previous videos. But I'm so happy to be back and making videos for you guys. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.